This is a drill. This is a driver. A lot of people don't know the difference about when to use this and when to use this. Even as a builder, I find myself sometimes wondering, is it an impact driver job or is it a drill job? And I also have my favorite. Personally, I prefer the drill. But there's a lot of scenarios and times where the driver should be my tool of choice. We're on the road to cracking 10K and we need you to drive our subs all the way up. Click subscribe, let's drill into it. This impact wrench flapping about rubber and all is about seven, eight years old. I got it towards the end of my apprenticeship. It was the first Milwaukee set of tools I got. And this is like gone the distance. It's done a few jobs now. I have replaced the drill, but yeah, original, OG. Let's put that away for now. An impact driver, from what I understand, not only does this rotate, but it has a hammer-like motion on the inside. As it's turning, it's also driving it in, and that's that rattle. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Awesome to rock up to site 7.30 in the morning and start firing up this bad boy. The neighbors will love you. If you're driving lots of bits, say you're replacing 100 CPC brackets on your deck, or you're doing curling screws, this would be your go-to. It's made for that repetitive use, high torque screwing, <laughs> you know what I mean, where you would need to keep going all day. It's compact, it's lighter, it like sits on your tool belt nice and impact will ensure you get a better connection in there which means less slipping which means less stripping out of your bit and less likely that your screw is going to get stuck so that's the impact let's look at the drill so if you're only going to get one of these tools, you would get the drill first. It is more versatile. Not only can you drive bits like this in, but you can also drill holes. The great thing about a drill like this is you can also then use concrete bits. And so this has got a hammer function on it for a drill bit like this. The way that this works is that it's got a chuck and it rotates the chuck and clamps down on it. That's where we put our bit. As you pull the trigger, it turns that bit. A couple of other things to note about this drill, or most drills, is they have a variable speed trigger. So slow, medium, fast. Well, that's really important when you want to finesse what you're doing. You want to get the screw finishing flush with the surface. So this would be more of an all-rounder. You can use a bunch of spade bits like this. Although technically these will fit this, they're not designed for this. You've got a variable speed on here that you'd need to adjust and then you're away. And hopefully you're getting screwed. I mean, you're screwing stuff into the wall. Now I've got two batteries and they've got a bar each because I love to like run it to the limit. And let's just Put a screw in with each. This is totally arbitrary test. Let's get two screws, two of the same screws. Let's screw these both in to the dwang. Super scientific. We're gonna do really high level test here. Which one will win? And we'll do it into the stud. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Oh, that did not seem like it was much faster or slower. Yeah. <laughs> I think though- So the conclusion, no difference. The conclusion, <laughs> Drilled. This is still my favorite. Uh, not much difference, but I think the thing is in the trades when you got to do like rows and rows of pearl and screw, or you've got rows and rows of these in the cladding, this would still be your go-to. It can handle that type of work over and over and over. And look at this one. It's worse for wear. It's taken a beating and it's still going. Whereas this is my second drill. Drill week. <laughs> yeah. In conclusion, if you're a DIYer and you're only getting one tool get a really good drill. A really good drill will last you years. You'll be able to use it in a number of scenarios with things like concrete bits. You'll be able to drill holes. You'll be able to fix fasteners. It will serve you well for years to come. If you're an apprentice or you're in the trade, your first purchase will be a drill driver combo. Makita, Milwaukee, DeWalt, Hikoki, all great platforms to jump on. All have a starter pack. All of those starter packs involve a drill, a driver, 
combo. Now we need to talk about the difference between an impact wrench and an impact driver. But we'll save that for another day. 